Hi guys, I hope you're all doing fine. Lecture number four about human computer interaction. And agenda for today is the first one, user interfaces as means of human computer interaction. Second is uh, types of interfaces. And the third one is the stage of the development uh, or development stage of the interface. So vocabulary, which you need to learn by heart at home as usually. First topic, uh, about human computer interaction. You may ask, what is this? Uh, it's a research the design and use of computer technology focused on the interfaces between people and computers. In other words, uh, they're searching or, uh, like the new ways or easy ways to connect uh, with the computers and they are helping uh, for the people with this one. So uh, next is the about loop of interaction. Uh, the flow of information between the human and computer is defined as the loop of interaction. They may, in a, uh, they may come in a several ways as visual based, audio based, task environment, machine environment, output and feed. For, for more information, you can read it for yourself. What is this exactly? Or from the uh, lecture in a word format. So the next topic about types of interfaces, uh, they are dividing into three. First one is the command line interface, or in short, we are call it CLI. Uh, next is the text interface with menus. And the last one, WIMP or GUI interfaces. So command line interface, I guess you already know from the practical work and you already worked on it. Uh, advantages of it, uh, maybe some of you noticed that it works very fast, usually done uh, working on our working place, uh, desktop, I mean, uh, but disadvantages of it that you have to know the special commands to work on it. Um, you have to learn uh, like books or someone should explain you how to work on it. Uh, next is the text interface with menus as a special shortcut keys or in Russian we say it uh, uh, as control C, control V, alt tab, uh, maybe shift, uh, alt shift and so on. Uh, so on text interface we are uh, only working with the keyboards. Um, and examples for it, I can give like, do you remember the old mobile phones with the uh, big buttons and that buttons help us to um, like call somewhere and so on. So this is all like old text interfaces. Last one is the graphical user interfaces, GUI. And this is the common type of interfaces which is used nowadays. Um, it could be like Windows 10, operation systems, um, like um, ATM machine of Caspi, uh, you know, Caspi, right? Uh, advantages of it that is very, very easy to use and all interfaces is user friendly. Mm, you don't need to learn like special book to work on this graphical interface every person can work on it. But disadvantages of it, they, uh, they could work very uh, slowly. The speed of this uh, depend on our processor and memory. Mm, so that's why a lot of developers uh, choose this command line interface because it's faster, as I told you before. Um, and that's all. But other things is very cool on our graphical user interfaces. Uh, you may even notice that nowadays uh, our mobile phones don't have any button. Uh, all their like work with our fingers and that's all. That's all what we need. And the last is the development stage of the user interfaces. Um, all interfaces which you have nowadays, uh, they are uh, going through this all steps which you see right now. The first step is the research step. Uh, they are meeting with the users and they asking them like uh, what they do like, what they don't like, what they want to see and they, what they want. After collecting this all information, they uh, go to the emphasize step and they are putting themselves instead of the users. Then they making the testing scenarios, experience map and go to the creating step. 
they're uh, starting making the sample as mood board, mock-up, style guide. And after finishing doing the old interfaces, uh, they go to the test step and they give that uh, interface to the in, uh, users. And users here shouldn't lie at all. They should tell the all mistakes and our errors which they see, and also the places we uh, where we need to like improve. And after that, after all this uh, information, um, like developers improve and remove that all mistakes, and goes to the develop part. Then that's all. That's all what you need. For, uh, to know from today. Uh, for example, like uh, if we tell successfully interfaces in our Kazakhstan, uh, I can give an example of Caspi application, uh, caspi.kz. It's uh, very cool to use. It's very easy. And after, after that Caspi KZ application, a lot of companies started to copy them because it's uh, very convenient to people. So I'm asking you, um, how do you think uh, in how do you think in Kazakhstan, uh, which is the uh, which is the which of the interfaces is very successful in Kazakhstan? Can you write on our like uh, group messenger in Discord, or you can even leave your comments uh, below, and I will read and answer you. Okay, so uh, homework is again to read lecture and take a note for yourself as usually. Please learn the vocabulary uh, by this Quizlet if you want. Uh, I just put it just to make your um, like way of learning more easier, but it's not necessary. If you don't want to do it, then you can just learn vocabulary vocabulary like this that's also cool so okay then bye see you next week